I just put it to my head and pull the trigger. No chickening out. No, I can't. Due to a malfunction in the switching system, today's rail schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize to any customers who are in a hurry. The next stop is Iwa Todai. Welcome. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Very well. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. And so it begins. Who's there? How can you be... But it's... Don't tell me. Wait! <gasps> the lights! I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's she? She's a transfer student. It was a last-minute decision to assign her here. She'll eventually be moved to a room in the normal dorm. Is it okay for her to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi, I'm Yukari. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. It's getting late. You'll find your room on the third floor. Your thing should already be there. I suggest you tuck in for the night. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. So, any questions? What are you talking about? 
Come on, it's not funny. Um, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? You know what I... Never mind. It seems like you're all right. Well, I better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. It's Yukari. Are you awake? Good morning. Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Senpai asked me to take you to school. Are you ready to go? Oh, are you sure? But you don't want to risk being late the first day, do you? Come on, hurry and get ready. We have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh, look, you can see it now. Morning. Morning. Well, here we are. Welcome to Gekukan High. You're gonna love it here. You're okay from here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? I think they're posted on the bulletin board, but I haven't checked yet either. Hey, about last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you later. Oh, are you the new student? 11th grade, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents... <gasps> I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. My, aren't you polite? Girls like you should be an example for others. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. As you begin the new school year, I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... I heard we got a transfer student. Yep. I've seen her too. She came to school with Yukari. I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh. Be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. What's up, dude? <laughs> you look like a deer in headlights. Me? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. I transferred here when I was in eighth grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I thought I'd check up on you. Make sure you weren't freaking out on your first day. Ugh, at it again, huh? 
Honestly, is there any girl you wouldn't hit on? Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? <laughs> Funny, huh? Um, hello. Did you forget I'm in this class, too? Come on, let me in on the fun. By the way, do you guys know each other? I heard you two came to school together this morning. A couple of cuties like you walking side by side. <laughs> the whole class was buzzing about you. Ugh, could you just cut it out? I hate dealing with rumors like that. I mean, I'm used to it, but she just got here, you know? Don't you feel bad spreading rumors like that? Well, I've got to go take care of some archery team stuff. Don't try anything funny. You got that, Junpei? What is she, your nanny? Well, just to clear something up, I seriously didn't come over here to hit on you or anything. If you ever have a problem, you can tell your old pal Junpei about it. Ouch! Yucatan's rubbing off on you already, huh? Well, I'll be seeing you around then. Whoa, check out the jocks on the run. Hey, did anyone tell you about the school clubs yet? Girls can join too, so why not do it if you're interested? You'd be joining as a new member though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. Welcome back. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. Oh, she's back. So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? You saw something strange. Like what? You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. It's bad for your complexion, you know. Do you have another question? There were only four students in this dorm. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanada. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? To welcome you, of course. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. 
although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have another question? Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the bad pun. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. <coughs> Working hard? So, how's she doing? She went to bed a little while ago. She's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think she's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. <sighs> this sucks. KJ Radio presents The Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kirijo Electronics. Kirijo Electronics, always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. Huh? What the? What's happening to me? <laughs> hmm, she's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could, during this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then she must be... As you can see, she's retained her human form. She's asleep, but she's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not she has the potential. Although she must. If she didn't, they would have preyed on her by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor her for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on her like this. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return. That you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Hold on to this. There is still one more resident of this room who unfortunately could not be present for your arrival. But I'll make sure you two are properly introduced another time, perhaps. Till we meet again.